they work with music, I finally saw a baritone saxophone. And I don't know how old I was, maybe nine, ten. I hadn't seen a baritone saxophone before. And I was like, what is that? What is that? The guy said, young man, that's a baritone saxophone. I don't remember nothing. <laughs> nothing. I haven't forgotten it for the rest of my life. He says, a baritone saxophone. I wasn't that impressed with the guy, the way the guy played it. Because I live in big band country where uh, the trumpets are loud, the trombones are loud, and the tubas and the, the umpires, what you call it, the, the ones that wrap around your neck. Oh, sousaphone. Mm -hmm. And the sousaphones are louder than that. I said, wow. You know, so they're not like the ones in New Orleans. It's a different kind of way that they play it. So is the power, the power of the baritone sax compared to the other, the other instruments, or? Well, baritone different. Baritone got like what I call booty notes. <laughs> and baritone, baritone, the range of the baritone is about like from here on up. The tuba takes care of all the rest of the horn. <laughs> you know, sopranos and all that, they, you know, they're very ethereal with, uh, well, so probably can go down here a little bit. Then you got your, your tenor, which is like the heart. To, I mean, the alto is like the heart. The tenor is more like the, the stomach. Can get you know. That's why it's like the most coveted instrument of all. But the baritone is, a, I think, it's going to be the energy instrument of the future. And my band director told me a long time ago. I said, "How did y'all learn all them tunes?" He said, "Well, man, the way we play, after you play the tune three times, you should know it." And what I mean by tune, I'm talking about a whole chart, like a big band chart. The fourth time around, you're not supposed to have the music no more. I said, oh, really? And I got to the point I could almost do that. Matter of fact, I was on a cusp of doing it myself. But I started realizing that the horn can take over to the point it's dictating you. You know, so it's a way that it really goes, you know, a whole lot of things. These things are really something else. They really are. You just mean instruments as, as tools? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They really are. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a lot that can come out of it. Technically, it's just one part of it, but the other parts that can come out can really, like, get you to say, wow. You know, especially when you go deep inside your own feeling. You know, that can be the part that can be really sort of tricky and you just have to keep going, you know. You keep rolling, 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 and roll out, keep rolling. Mm -hmm. But when, you know, but when I got sick like that, then that threw me off. I was way gone. I said, damn, I'm looking around like this. I was in the same room that I was in before that had uh, some bricks outdoors, and I just looked at those bricks and said, I've been here before. But when? What well, about a month ago? I'm just looking at them going, what the, why am I? You know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then a few times people would come to the door. Like William Parker was one guy. William Parker stepped through the door and I knew exactly where he was right away. But I've been dealing with him recently. Different people, you know. <clears throat> No way that God went way out, didn't I? <laughs> no, love it. <clears throat> yeah, went way, way, way out. Music is something that, uh, I can tell the guys talking about it. I don't like people to go from a classical angle. Mm. And what I'm talking about, I don't like the feeling. It's too, too much back pressure, too uptight, too, which is good for them. That's just personally, my personal stuff. That's, that's not the way I like it. Cause I like blues, the church, and a lot of other things like that. And not necessarily that that's all I'm gonna do, I don't mean that. But I like coming from that angle, mm -hmm. you know, from a more of a soulful angle than coming from things. But then again, when I could really read good, man, I was, shit, I, I was in everything. All of it, all of it. I used to play the old book, the bassoon parts on baritone saxophone in the Gateway Symphony Orchestra. And even though we didn't have a low B flat and all that kind of stuff, I'd get my, get my heart out and play. Then, 
I started improvising a little bit and said, no, get out. No, 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 get out, go, go. I can give you like a real saxophone quartet story. We were playing and then after a while we started breathing together without trying. It just happened. You know, we were actually, you know, we were soloing like that. Everybody was like, oh, 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 oh. well, damn, we breathing together, you know. So that's like, Basie did that too. Basie and Bang would always, you know, play like that. I like music when it's more together than, I don't mind it going in a different direction. That doesn't bother me, but something needs to be together. Some kind of way. It's other ways to be together. Either the same volume, but something. Do that. Your personalities all match well outside of outside of the uh, the stage environment. Not always. No, not always. No, no. Jews was one way. David was one way. Olive was one way, and I'm another way. So we had like four distinctive personalities that would collide all the time. <laughs> and a lot of time, and the color, and the collision would be real, real good. Cause that would make us go into something that we didn't do before. Okay. You know, we had a lot of, a lot of, just a lot of stuff. But I was able to leave that and go from music, cause I was actually a failure in terms of how Mingus was dealing with me. Cause I didn't tell him I didn't, I was tired of being in this band. So I made, that was a mistake on my part. I should have just been truthful. He said, man, are you tired of this? I said, no, Mingus, it's okay. You know, that was a damn lie. I was tired of playing like that. You know, then you go and you clear the cards. Ah, man, shit to me, that's old. Cards? We don't play them no more. You know, and then we now we tricking ourselves back into playing them where. It's cool because it's not bad, so I'm not saying it's bad, but it's other kind of stuff that you can do. Yeah. So I'm more, I'm more concerned about that now than I am the rest of it. There's other kind of things like circular breathing, multiphonics. You got a whole world of things that comes out of these instruments, and they they kind of roll, you know. So it's a lot, it's a lot to it. Now I may be talking nuts, but I'm not. <laughs> St. Louis, here is colors. You can look at a Monet painting and see what the colors are. Right. You're talking about Kendrick? Yeah, Kendrick. Mm -hmm. And tell you what key is in, all that kind of stuff. Because I had to work with him for a long time before I finally got him to see that all G's are, are green. They might be green-ish, but the whole level of green come out. So it's not, you know, G in the key of A flat, not the same as the G in the key of C. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it took a while that before it finally worked. Then when he gave up the whole idea of playing <clears throat> changes, now nah, he's cool. I mean, he's really cool now, because he can just go into a color on your ass. <laughs> 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 and when he does that, he can like, he'll be like, you say, wow, where did that come from? But it all fits, because, you know, cars were made to change anyway. You know, that's where the color car changes. <laughs> At least that's what I always thought about it. He called me up this morning, man. What the hell is it? What do you want? <laughs> Two in the morning? Huh? I think that was him calling your phone. Could have been, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so I, I accidentally called you up. <clears throat> In fact, whatever I did, but we, uh, we were talking, he said, Mr. Blue, I said, what? I just wrote my first symphony using colors. Oh, cool. I said, you know, I really am excited. <laughs> <laughs> Then you realize a lot of stuff is because you're sick. Then you can get that off your back in a way. Because you don't have to really be sick right now. You can be, it's whatever it takes to get well. So that takes you to another journey. <clears throat> now while going through all that, it was not, e it's not easy. But being alive is way more easier. You understand? So it's like not easy one way, but it's like, well shit, you can't get no better than this. I wake up, you know, trickle my little fingers and my toes and look and say, damn, yeah, so I can smile about stuff. There ain't nothing to smile about. So called. <clears throat> but I'm happy I'm still here. Yeah. Then you get to ups and downs. The down stuff is more like 
frustrated. That's not really frustrated. That's another thing, too. I'm not really frustrated with anything. I don't care. You know, to really be truthful, I really don't care. <clears throat> it's cool. I don't, you know. Plus, when I came out of that, when I was coming out of that, I started listening to Duke Johnson. I didn't realize Duke Johnson played so much blues. I said, damn, that's what they mean by sophisticated blues. Oh, I got it. And some of it wasn't number just a plain blues. But I could hear it then, whereas before, I think the word sophistication threw me off. See, I never done to throw me off no more. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 